Hey Virgo, so this is for Virgos who are dealing with another Virgo for the month of July 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Um, tarotbarbie.com, let's get a Virgo's coming with the Hermit, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups energy. This Virgo here is reflecting back on the past. They are in Hermit. They are reflecting back on the past on why they did what it is that they did. They are literally reviewing their life <laughs> with the Seven of Pentacles, and they definitely do feel really regretful on why it is that they did what they did. This person went completely silent on you. They have not spoken to you in a very long time, and they've been in Hermit this whole entire time here, Virgos. They're literally looking back at how they should have invested in you with the Seven of Pentacles to the Four of Swords. This person, uh, while this person has been going in through isolation, hermit, whatever the fuck what, uh, they've been trying to build themselves a foundation as well. They are very much so sad and regretful for the way that they treated you. Some of you guys may have tried to reach out to this person, but there was a huge disconnection and you guys are not seeing eye to eye or this person just simply not reaching out to you. A lot of you guys might be wanting a new beginning with this person and you're trying to speak up and talk to this person, but I can see that you guys are more so mourning the situation and you guys are feeling really, really sad about it. Like really sad about a Virgos, you know? It's not like you guys are not sad. No, this is a lot of heartache here. This Virgo really broke you guys' heart on a whole other level. <sighs> okay. Now... Some of you guys, yeah, exactly, Virgo. Some of you guys might feel like you guys got rejected by this person, whatever the case is, but I do see that eventually this person will be reaching out to you guys again. You guys will be coming in as the page of page of, page of of wands. Even if this person doesn't speak to you or whatever the case is, you guys look like you're going to reach out to them one more time and just see if they're going to contact you. But for whatever reason, this person is still holding their energy back with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Maybe this person's a little bit defensive at certain times. <sighs> this person here doesn't know what the fuck they want. And as long as they don't know what it is that they want, they're always going to be lost like this. This is literally someone who's absolutely lost. And they're still trying to... Somebody here is might have a family with somebody else. <laughs> Whatever, Virgos. But they are looking back at how you guys could have had a family. You guys could have had children. You guys could have had a home with each other. But this person's literally deceiving themselves with the Seven of Swords, Strength card, and the King of Cups. They absolutely love you. They adore you. They want to come back towards you. The more that they continue to hold back their feelings, the more that they end up deceiving you with the Seven of Swords because they're scared that you're not going to want them or forgive them. Meanwhile, you've reached out to them God knows how many times. So this person's just playing fucking games with you guys on a whole other level. They're, you guys reach out to them. They don't respond back to you, but then they're still worried about how you're going to react how is that even possible when you guys are the ones reaching out to this person it's like done and over with you forgive the past whatever had happened then it's whatever had happened so whatever this person is creating now for themselves that they're literally drama this virgo here is seriously drama especially if they got water in their fucking chart they're drama on a whole other level they're deceiving themselves seven of swords king of cups and they do deep down want to come back towards you. They want to contact you. They want to reach out to you. They want to see you again. They've been thinking about you a lot here too. And they want to give you an intimate relationship with the two of swords. But they've been, they feel blinded by the whole entire thing because you guys now have not been in their energy. And they now they want to come back to you because in the past, they wasn't giving to you. They're not happy with themselves. They're, they can't even move on with their life because they feel so horrible that they didn't give to the connection. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, six of Pentacles in reverse. They didn't give to you. They want to come back for you, Knight of Cups. And a lot of you guys might end up becoming very much so uh, guarded when this person reaches out. But the universe is saying, no problem, we will grant this reunion for for you and they are going to be very emotional when they speak the truth to you Virgos <coughs> <coughs> or vice versa so they are drama Virgos on a whole other level they are emotional they are they get really upset very easily but they are going to speak the truth to you to balance everything out and they know that they broke your heart really badly so maybe this person wants to give you guys the closure that you guys need Especially with the world card. Somebody here definitely did take you for granted is what I'm picking up here with the world card. They took you for granted, Virgos. This person never thought in life that they would ever have. But they thought they probably thought they could have get you in somewhere else and they can have somebody like you. No, they can't. No, they can't. They never have and they never will. Five of Swords, you are the one and only. You're the one and only. Everybody else that this person deals with is, is fucked up on a whole other level with the Five of Swords. Everybody just simply takes advantage of this Virgo. Uh, takes advantage of what it is that they can have or what they can offer. Meanwhile, you guys never did that, you know? They just try and take what they can, and now this person's trying to pull back their energy from all the liars, the, the enemies, and everything. 
and they got to find a way to put an end to it here. <sighs> oh my God. This person is uh, battling themselves at the moment with the five of wands because they do love you very much. And in their hidden feelings, you are the one and only for them on a whole other level. And this person is trying to find healing for themselves, Virgos. Uh, you guys absolutely miss this person on a whole other level. You guys are trying to manifest this. You guys are trying to manifest them back, and you guys absolutely will be able to manifest them back, Virgos. But a lot of you guys are getting really stressed out. Your manifestation is causing this person to be stressed out and maybe anxiety, whatever. But they are going to be coming back for you guys. You guys have waited a long time for them. But do expect communication coming in from this person. <sighs> they're trying to, they're trying to free themselves from all the negative thoughts that they build within themselves somebody here thinks very negatively um but they do find you very attractive and they just don't know how they're going to try and come in and act ask for a proposal this person is very traditional maybe even religious for some of you guys uh however though they did put you in a three-party situation this person might be dealing with a karmic at the moment two virgos it could be a sagittarius and a taurus or a gemini um but that relationship's not going anywhere. It, it will put get put to a complete ending. And it looks like they're going to pack their shit and literally come back for you with the Ten of Wands to the Queen of Pentacles. This person was dealing with too many fucking people. Somebody here was dealing with two women. Two women or two mans. And I guess you were like the last one. So if it doesn't work out with this Aries Leo Center, then they're going to fucking go to the Queen of Cups. And if it doesn't work with the Queen of Cups, then they're going to come to you, Queen of Pentacles. That's exactly what's going to end up happening. Literally like that, Virgos. And this person will eventually reach out to you and it will shock you guys very badly uh, with the tower card because you guys have been single. You guys have been on your spiritual path with the high priestess and a lot of you guys have built yourselves literally an empire for yourselves. A lot of you guys went from literally nothing to fucking big energy. You guys have built a foundation for yourself, a business for yourself. Uh, you guys have leveled up by a hundred Virgos. You guys are the nine of pentacles. You're so single, so abundant, so spiritual, so intuitive, uh, entrepreneur, CEO, you know, and it's going to fucking leave this person in a position of confusion. Like what had happened during the time you guys were not right. So not speaking to each other. So it is going to leave you guys very much so confused. A lot of you guys might be picking up on a lot of dreams, uh, in the month of July and, more so a lot of lucid dreams, so make sure you guys pay attention to your dreams, say Virgos. <coughs> <coughs> so this person's going to try and come back and want to work on the relationship and maybe even propose to you about something. A lot of you guys might be getting a proposal, a promotion at your workplace. Uh, if a lot of you guys are planning on resigning from your workplace, they will try and make an offer to you so that way you don't leave. They do not want to risk you or lose you. Uh, so they will, they will make up another offer for you with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, things are going to pick up a lot more faster. This person is going to be coming back for you, Virgos, hoping that they can build a relationship here with you. With the Star card, they're having hopes that they can get this. They are going to be fighting for you this time around, and they're not going to let you go. This person is really in their hopes and in their feelings that nothing is going to stop this connection this time around. Yeah, they might not feel good about it, but... They are not going to put their wands down at all and surrender. This person is literally going to make sure that they fight for their relationship and get you back. Uh, you guys had done everything you guys possibly can do to make the relationship work. And then eventually you guys are like, fuck this, I'm out. Like a lot of you guys may not have even said anything to your Virgo about why you're leaving or when you're leaving. You just simply fucked off on a whole other level, like literally fucked off on a whole other level. So uh, during the full moon in the month of July, if you guys plan on, plan on walking away, just know this person's going to chase you and they're not going to let you go. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.